the Father deems fit for His glorious Son to have four Gospels, four stories of His life. Can I have a good amen? Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Go back to the veil again. There are four colours throughout. Now you see the four faces that is on the veil. And these are the four faces of Jesus. And you have the lion, amen. That's the Gospel of Matthew, where Jesus is typified as the King of the Jews. That's what uh, Matthew was concerned for, to show us the King of the Jews is a King that will come down to die for us. You know, people serve King, the King doesn't serve people. But here is a King that serves you. Where the word of a king is, there is power. And how does he use that power? To demand from you? No, he came to cleanse you. The face of Mark, or the Gospel of Mark, is the face of an ox. Because an ox is a strong, laborious, all right, strong animal to work, to labor. It is amazing that the most frequently used word, even in chapter 1, let me show you real fast, okay? 11 times this word eutios is used. Eutios is the word immediately, straight away. It's the nature of a servant to do things immediately. He moves among men. Amen. He lived simply as a man. And that's why in the Gospel of uh, Luke, you have his genealogy that trace all the way to Adam the first man. John, the emphasis is Jesus as God come in the flesh. The emphasis is divine. That's why you have things like even when during his, his arrest, he could speak, I am, and all the guards that came to arrest him fell. Go to the Gospels whenever you're discouraged or you have uh, symptoms that you're battling with in your body or you're feeling down. Go to the Gospels and just look at Jesus. And don't worry about understanding all His teachings and His parables. Your, your, your whole point of reading the Gospels is to feed on Christ.